What's up guys, we have, what's up y'all? We have a 91 Camaro RS. This is the 3.1 and I'm gonna replace the PCV valve. It is right here. This is the driver's side of the car and supposedly it's just pull it out and push it in. So I looked in my records to see if this has ever been replaced on this car. No. Not to say that it hasn't been done, but if it was done, I don't have a record of it. Now, um, this is actually the second engine that's in this car, and this car's got about 247,000 miles on it, something like that. And um, so I know my dad and I went into the first engine pretty good uh, once, and you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, this has got the same valve covers and everything. You know, that they took the, all the components off of my engine and put on the new engine. So you never know, this could be the same PCV valve. Um, but I'm gonna check it out. Uh, supposedly this is just a pull it off kind of thing. Uh, there we go. Uh, so I'm gonna pull it out of here. Which I can't do uh, one-handed, I don't think. I have no idea how tight it is in there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out of this and put it back together. And we're gonna crank it up and see how she does. Now, the car's not running terrible, it just seems to be running different. Uh, the car's been through a lot of issues this year since about September, and I'm trying to resolve them. And, you know, one of the issues, one of the things that was going on was whenever I, the timing was off and whenever I was trying to get it right, uh, the car backfired and it really damaged the muffler. Now you can tell that in the bad spots in the muffler that there's been some oil leakage. So, you know, I got to looking up things like why would oil be and, you know, leaking from your muffler. And um, so one of the things I came up with was PCV valve and that's what made me start looking at my records to see if I need another one. And it will affect idle and oil leakage and all kinds of different things. So, and I've seen that they could last anywhere from 20 to 30,000 miles. I mean, excuse me, 20 to 50,000 miles. And I may put on this video some of the um, possible causes of a bad PCB valve. I really wanted to get the, um, the AC Delco but I would have had to wait, you know, for it to ship to store or whatever. And I want to do it today. So here we go. So there's something in there that shakes back and forth. I've never replaced one of these before. So obviously I guess that's just the way the valve works. It'd be interesting to see the comparison between the old one and the new one when I get them out. Y'all, you know, that was so hard to get out. Um, I don't know what the deal was, but that thing was in the top. Obviously, you know, it's got this raised raised part there on the end. Um, and that old rubber probably just doesn't have much flex to it. So it's pretty oily on the end. I don't know if that's any kind of indication of a problem, but we're gonna put this Duralast in there and see if anything changes. Um, this one sounds the same, but I don't know, it almost sounds like it's got oil in it. Um, say this was the one that was in there. I don't know what brand it was because I don't have any records that have changed it and I keep pretty good records. So, this is where it was. It was up in here. And then it just pushes down into the valve cover. But that flared out part on the end you know, obviously it's sticking up in here. And uh, so it was, it was just really tight to uh, pull out of there. And when you're taking yours out, just make sure that you don't get too aggressive with it because, you know, it, it is just old plastic hoses and uh, plastic, you know, and, and rubber. I, I tried to uh, use a screwdriver to help me prize on it to get it out of there. Uh, and now the Band-Aid's not from, uh, from this, it's from work. Uh, so, never done this before. So we're gonna see how easy this goes. I did wipe it off and clean it off all around the hole. 
and let's see. You know, you know what your pain this is trying to make videos with, uh, well, that's funny already. Hopefully it's just because, you know, there's rubber things in the way. All right, I'm gonna do this off video. Look, they are the same size. Um, I'm comparing the two of them, but there's a lot of scratch marks on the original. So obviously it's gonna be a tight fit. Yeah, you know, I really didn't know, like how difficult that was to get in. I hope it, that's a normal thing that they're normally that tight to get in. Um, you know, a press fit. Um, I don't know how loose it should have been, but that was pretty tight. Uh, is it because it's a Duralast? Would the AC Delco have been any different? I have no idea. But I guarantee you it'll take, it'll take some pliers to get it out of there next time. Um, see if I can get that fitting on there. You know, I should have videoed that. It was so easy to get on there. <laughs> So uh, that's kind of amusing. Uh, the last one was easy to get out of easy to get out of the valve cover, but hard to get out of here. And this one was hard to get into the valve cover and easy to get into here. All right, I'm gonna uh, crank it up and see if there's any change at all. drive done car didn't really drive any better uh, I'm not gonna say it didn't need a PCV valve but that's not what my problem is so got to keep searching <laughs>